Good morning, Carl. As promised, here's our uh, short game video look. I uh, wanted to kind of, uh, since we didn't take video of our last short game session, this is good for us to give you some feedback on things we've talked about before. Um, let's start with this ball position and the de-lofting of the club. You see where your ball being back in the stance and um, this is your first look at what it, what I told you, but you see how your shaft is has what we call a forward lean to it. So, so that club you got in your hand, that nine iron, actually, uh, if the shaft comes into impact at that same angle, it's certainly not going to come in like a nine iron. So, that's probably see how that you got further lag now. Lag we consider to be a good thing, but now you've taken that shaft uh, to even more of a forward lean angle than the setup. So, and that doesn't need, mean it's a bad thing. Let's just give you an idea of what you are actually looking like in that setup. Okay, here was a pretty good impact. I want you to note that we see the club face open a little bit at impact. And that means we're hitting on toe a little bit. We saw some of those marks. Now here's a little bit of a stub. And your brain kind of kicked in with the fact that it was a stub. You'll see your arm starting to lift a little bit at the end. And perfect world. We want to kind of keep that kind of looking similar to that over here with a a similar finish. Sometimes we get things elevated a little bit at the end there. Okay. Now the other thing I want you to see uh, on the left here, you'll see that you got you're sitting back a little bit on your heels, so that's going to have something to do perhaps with that toe hit as you come back into impact. Certainly we're hitting it a little bit more on the toe, and if we get the, that weight of yours more in the middle more in the middle of your feet uh, everything just moves over here a little bit more knees will be out over your toes better and I think that's going to have a chance to hit the middle of the club face more okay that was a good stroke there wasn't it okay uh, let's look at another something towards the end here looks like a good one here all right so we kind of talked about introducing this is that see where you're coming up high there all right so this is my chance too to talk a little bit about our weight where we're at with our chip see how you're a little bit fall a little bit further back on that right leg here with your motion so let's start you with weight a little bit more on that front leg so your legs will look a little bit more like that in the setup okay so if we're over here a little bit more about 10 percent more on our on our front foot um that'll encourage you to stay on that left side so we've got just you see your right knee's got a little more bend to it. Right knee's coming towards me or us. I'd rather have that right knee going towards the target. Here you can see a little more additional bend with that right knee, so that tells me you're you got weight on your back foot there. Okay. So other than that, we talked about just softening the hinge joints a little bit during the stroke, uh, getting some uh, tension out of the fingers and the grip, forearms so forth so got a little bit of tension that setup okay a uh, little revisit look on your full swing here we did a little quickie see how you're coming along there it looks good that's a great finish there isn't it of course it was a practice swing we always swing better on a practice swing don't we this is you trying to Engage the hips, the lower body to initiate the downswing. So there's some feedback how it looks. So it is a sequential 
It's a sequence of events, sequence of movements from the top of the swing. As I said, your feedback's going to be right there when you got that divot in front of the ball. That usually means good things. We've hit the ball on the way to the divot then. Okay. Very good there. This is you exaggerating that move, so it looks good. Let's see how we did when the ball was there. Okay, you can see a definite movement there, lower body, creating a little more lag. That's a pretty good position there, isn't it? I think we've come a long way since our earlier visits. Good lag there. It looks like you know what you're doing there, Carl. Good back foot release. Well done. Okay, my friend. There it is. Good work. You've made some great progress in that short game since a week ago. Keep up the good work.